Chris Mattiello from VitaminCM.com and today I'm going to do a product review of the new router that I bought from my home network. So this is the router that I was using for about four or five years. It's a Belkin uh, Wireless G router. It was pretty decent for the time that I had it. Uh, kind of a little long in the tooth and it's been crapping out and dropping the internet connection lately. So I decided to replace it and upgrade. So I had a couple things that I needed to do before I, with the upgrade. I needed a router that had the new Wi-Fi standard, so 802.1n, because number one, it's the newest, and number two, it's uh, what my new laptop has. I also wanted a router that had, for the hardwired ports, gigabit Ethernet networking speeds because I just recently rewired my house with uh, gigabit networking so all the rooms there's just jacks just like you have in an office I can just plug things into the wall so I have my entertainment center and some of my desktops and things hooked up like that and the other thing I wanted was a USB port on it so that I could either plug in a printer and have it on the network or plug in a external hard drive with USB and have that on the network. I have a wireless printer so I really didn't need the printer part but what I did want was to be able to plug in a external USB hard drive and be able to use that to back up all my other computers to. So what I ended up buying was a D-Link DIR655 router. It's got a wireless N or extreme N which is, uh, I don't know, extremely fast, I suppose. Uh, it's got a gigabit router, so the hardwired ports are gigabit speed. And it also has the USB port that I wanted. So, take a look at the router right now. It's a um, white router. It's got three antennas on the top that um, you, know, you can adjust in different directions, so you get the best signal that's most suitable for how everything's set up in your house. Uh, just one, two, three, four ports across the front that light up and let you know that things are plugged into them. And the back is really where all the interesting things are. If you notice here, this is where you would plug in out of your cable modem in to give yourself internet. And then there's four hardwired LAN ports. And as, yeah, as I said before, these are gigabit speeds, so they're 1,000 megabits per second, which is nice. And there's also a USB port right here where you can plug in either a printer or an external hard drive and share it to all the computers on your network. So I have this in my basement. I come out of my cable modem into here. Then I have a couple of these jacks plugged in to a switch in my attic that powers all the uh, upstairs internet jacks. And then a couple downstairs, like the one behind my TV, the one in my uh, reading room, and uh, that's it. And I also run my laptop off the Wi-Fi. So the other thing I have, the one last thing, is I got myself uh, an external hard drive that runs off USB and I, it's just a big old uh, desktop hard drive that sits in there and I plug it into the USB port in, on there and then it shows up on the network and all my other computers can see it and I run my backup program off of my Mac, uh, my Linux laptop, and my two uh, Windows desktop and laptop. I run them all to here to back them all up on here and that way if anything ever goes wrong with the hard drives on my, my Linux, Mac, or Windows machine, I have a copy of all my data here, which is nice. So I uh, installed this router. Well, it really wasn't much to install. I just unplugged my old one, plugged all the wires into this one like I had it, and uh, fired it up and then everything seemed to work fine. My laptops picked up the Wi-Fi signal, uh, it worked, my switch worked fine, all the desktops and laptops that I had plugged into the walls all got onto the internet no problem. The, uh, the only catch is the, um, the USB sharing. There's a, you have to install software on the computers it installed fine on my PCs. My PCs, it basically just shows up as if you plugged in a flash drive right into the side of the machine. It just shows up like an extra drive and you can read and write to it. On my Mac, it uh, is a little flaky. There's some stuff you have to do with the command line to get it to work, which um, 
I don't know, never that much fun. And on my uh, Linux machine, similar, uh, I had to run some command line mumbo jumbo to, to get it to work. I'm still fiddling around with that. But basically, uh, it's pretty good. Um, the speeds seem fine. Uh, I copy files from my hard drive, my USB hard drive, up onto my computer and then back down to my to my USB hard drive, and it works pretty fast. So uh, so far so good. If anything craps out on it, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so that's the D-Link DIR655 Extreme N Gigabit Router with Wireless N Networking.